Today we are skating the longest handrail in Texas, one that can surely and probably will destroy your testicles if you are an individual with testicles. We're also trying peculiar vegan pre-made Whole Foods meals and the most popular taco spot in Fort Worth, Texas. And there's a second session where I'll be tackling one of the hardest tricks I've done to date. We're also creating some custom art for my brand and doing viral fitness workouts. So let's kick this day off with grinding the biggest handrail. 73 feet long, 33 inches tall. Wait, I can't ollie that high. Don't worry, most people can't. And there's a huge crack in front of the handrail so anyone on my side can't go that direction, which is a, a great cop out um, because I'm scared. It's tall, but there is a way I can get onto the rail. Skateboarding in Skate 3 is not realistic. Holding a grind for over three seconds is damn near impossible. And for this grind, I will have to hold it for 13 seconds. I swear that's a long time for skateboarding. Please believe me. Who knows? Maybe it actually won't be that hard. I was so sore after doing the grind, I waited till the next day to do all the other fun challenges I wanted to put in this video. Today is essentially about creating, so doing lots of art, editing videos, and also trying to get exercise all day, and I'm also getting a skateboard session at the end. It's just a not very sensational day, so I couldn't really think of a title around it, so I feel like it's the perfect kind of content to get you started on your day, to get you a little bit of motivation, and to add on to something epic that I already did. I ran out of eggs this morning, so that's why I came back here to get some more, so I thought, why not just try their uh, tofu taco? Not the biggest fan of just like blatant tofu, but also one of these protein shakes. So this is just like grab and go food from Whole Foods, which uh, I don't know, could be good. It's a good chance I won't enjoy this taco. It looks very tofu-fied, but uh, salsa I'm sure would help. Just don't have any. It's not bad, actually. There's enough vegetables in there to kind of counter the taste of all the tofu. So it kind of just feels like you're getting substance, even though Tofu's not the best thing for you. I am realizing how hungry I was. Now I'm not completely sure if I've had this one before, but it's by, um, Forager? Forager? Uh, let's try a taste. Um, I just need some extra girth in my stomach. That, oh my god. That is pretty good. 
it's always gonna be better when it's not from a, you know, from like a plastic bottle and a refrigerator, but it's good. minutes now I typically go for longer walks but since today is so crammed I'm gonna do 30 minutes where I listen to a podcast and I just enjoy something inspirational and I take notes along the way so this is the part where it kind of devolves into either artwork or things I use for quotes in the future or things I use even for these videos to talk about I sit here and I try to absorb some good stuff and I try to write down and take notes on my phone you know thinking about those quotes and uh how they apply to every day and how they can make the lives of people better. And I'm definitely gonna share with you what I wrote down because I definitely got some sexy, inspirational motivation that I think will really get you along your day to kill it. But I'm gonna save that for the end of the video so that you can just take right off and conquer. Expired. So I still want tacos. We're going to the best taco place in all of DFW. <laughs> That's it. That, yeah, I don't know. It's very popular. Velvet Taco is one of the spots that I always take friends if they come anywhere near this area, and it is amazing tacos are insane it's not necessarily a vegan restaurant but you can get vegetarian options and turn them vegan by taking off certain size sauces here and there slices uh we have uh the falafel taco it comes with the the lettuce wrap i know that's ridiculous like to me it's so silly to just be biting big pieces of lettuce but that's just how it comes but the falafel is so good that i'm like yeah it's fine and then the other two one is the buffalo wing uh this one not healthy obviously it's just like a big thing of tofu and it tastes like buffalo but it's good and it's filling and that's kind of the point point. and then there's also the cauliflower this one actually isn't super bad for you it's got avocado in it it's got some good stuff uh the tortillas are not flour they're corn which is a little healthier uh and also it's it's vegan when it's corn so i'm gonna sit here and enjoy this it's kind of a messy meal so uh it's gonna be gross if i eat it on film uh but just know that every time i take a bite my reaction is like this design in general is just such a weird thing because you can stare at a picture and move a letter like to the left, you know, just a tiny little pixel, right a pixel, and you can do that for 25 minutes. And it's just, it's strange when you think of skating or working out or physical activities, you get so much out of the little time you put in. And then when it comes to illustration, as much as I like the end result and part of the process, you have to be willing to spend a lot of time on it. And it's like, so I've done 80 push-ups so far and 40 of those pull-ups. I usually save the last rep, which is 20 more push-ups, 10 more of those pull-ups. When I'm done with this, I just do that and then I can shower because this breaks the sweat no matter what. I usually end up going about 25 minutes or so. I basically just look at the calorie counter and I burn 200 calories, which is probably an exaggeration since a machine like this is just like, I don't know, it's usually a little bit less.
remember the last time I've done a switch flip back flip on a fly rail, but I'm gonna give it my all all. Oh my god, I gotta do it first try. I should have just committed. There we go. Got into it twice in a row. Good start. Oh, my board's about to snap. I can feel it. Oh. <laughs> that was the smartest thing I've ever done. I've been wanting to learn switch back lips consistently for a long time. That did not happen today, but I did land more today than I ever have before. It's just a lot harder to land it even once you get into it than I thought it was gonna be. I thought committing was the hard part, but it was kind of the whole thing. But a little bit better at it today, which is cool. It's a, it's like a cool trick, a trick I've always liked. What a massively successful day. Obviously the, the handrail thing was a different day, but that was a totally productive day just on that trick alone. It felt so cool. I was honestly very proud of that. And when taking notes earlier, I found a few that really got me juiced. David Goggins said, I'm not gifted, I'm driven. You'll find that success in certain categories can obviously be pointed to luck, but there is a place in the realm of success for those born with less opportunity, but more work ethic. He also said, I wasn't born who I am today, I made him. Can you say the same thing about who you are today? Are you proud enough of yourself right now to say, I made this? It's easiest to be proud when you're persevering through your ambitions. And finally, a quote that I wrote at the end of this fun day, it's hard to accept that you are good enough because now the responsibility is on you to work and achieve. You can't blame anyone else when you're good enough. Thanks for watching. I'll see you every Tuesday and Thursday for a new video on this channel. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it!